Now that we've covered the benefits of muscle control, let's discuss how it actually works. Why can muscle control be effective in allowing you to gain strength and greater control of your body? Well first, I like this analogy. I first heard Bud Jeffries explain this when he was talking about how you can use chi or build up your energy in order to get stronger. He had this model here of a battery, the wiring leading to the engine. I'm not a great artist here, so it's not the best picture in the world, especially the engine. It kind of looks like a bee, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, what he was saying was that Western training, our whole getting stronger barbells and everything, is really building up a bigger engine, building bigger and stronger muscles. That's what we're focusing on. The Eastern idea, the Qigong, doing those sort of things, is building up a greater battery. It's allowing you to charge your body with energy that can then be applied to it. So these are two different ways. Then you can also build up the wiring. Now the wiring is what basically allows the connection. I'd say with the battery too, that also has to do with the mental training aspect of it. You can build a greater battery in that regard as well. And the wiring is basically the connection. Uh, also how your nerves fire from your brain, your mind, into the muscles. So that is going to be the model that we're working on. What muscle control does is it effectively gives you better wiring. By learning how to control the muscles, how to contract them when you want them to contract and have them relax when you want them to relax, you have improved the wiring. You've improved the signal that goes from here into the muscles in the bicep, for instance, so that when you want it to contract, it contracts and it contracts harder.